Hello, it's Jeannie. How are you? I hope you're well. I am getting better and better. The sniffles are the last part of my getting over my gunk, but I'm doing so much better. So, today, I'm doing a get ready with me, but there's a twist to it. I'm doing an 80s look. And not only am I doing an 80s look, I am doing it from a 1980s makeup kit. Let me show you. Honest. This I got in the mail off eBay and it is the Sonora Grand Classique and in the ad it said it was never opened and it was all sealed so I went ahead and got it and I'm going to show you me putting on a 1980s look with 1980s makeup. So we will see how that turns out. And um, the look isn't too far from what I used to look like in say 82, 83. So going out anyway. You know, sometimes when I stay home, I don't wear much makeup. and uh, But I like to play around with it. And you know, I like experimenting. I like experimenting with my makeup, with my hair, and with my fragrances. And I'm so honored today to be sponsored again by Scentbird. And with Scentbird, which is a fragrance subscription, I'm able to play around with fragrances without having to buy the full size to experiment on. And so I really appreciate that. Fragrances can be $100, $200, $3 and up. I, have, I was looking at one the other day at a department store that was $400. And it's it would be just a big guess on my part. And I'm not willing to do that. So I love that with Scentbird, I can play around and experiment for $17 a month. So, oh, and look at this. I just love their little travel cases. Look at these. They're just so cute. And they open up. They have a lock. So when I put them in my purse and I did a get, um, I showed you my, how I organize my purse. I actually have this, the, these that go in my makeup bag, my sparkly makeup bag, but you can lock it so it's not going to get pressed down. I've had that happen before with others. And it opens and closes and locks. Look at this. It's a magnetic open enclosure. So when you run out of the perfume, you can get another one and pop this in there. And the case, and these cases are fantastic, can go and go and go. I love this. So this month I got some really interesting fragrances that I don't know that I would have bought the big bottle of it. So I love that I've tried these out because now I can make that choice. The first one is Florica by Spongele in the Mystic Rose. And oh my goodness, this is so lovely. This smells like fragrant roses from a market and it's just so seductive. It says, it says it's so seductive it should come with a warning label. I love that. So that's the first one. The second one I got is Kenzie by Berry Beauty. 
And this one came in the pink. I love this. I love pink. See? And this one, I love this smell for a completely different reason. Oh, this is very mm, fresh and berry peach nectar. And the last one is Reflect by Good Habit. And this one, let me tell you. Oh my gosh, this is so lovely. This is very lemony, very lemony. It says Italian lemon and lotus blossom and black tea and cashmere wood. Oh, this is just so lovely. I would say to everybody to try these three. They're fantastic. Scentbird offers affordable and flexible plans. Um, you, could all, you could skip or cancel your subscription at any time. And it makes the whole fragrance trying a very hassle-free process. And this is available in the U.S. and Canada. Every month you get to pick what you want so there are no surprises and they have over 600 perfumes and colognes to choose from with lots of unisex options as well. They have brands like Gucci and Prada and um, indie names like Skylar, Heretic and Confessions of Rebel. So you can be sure that you are getting a premium scent each month. Each scent is a thir about a 30-day supply. They last me longer because I mix them up. I don't use one every single day. And as I've said before, I use this on my sheets and pillows, pillowcases. And so this is a great way to try out a fragrance before you buy the full size. So use my code J-B-A-S-M-R to get 55% off your first month's subscription. That's right around $7 for your first month's fragrance. So, J-B-A-S-M-R. Thank you, Scentbird, for supporting my channel and sponsoring this video. I truly appreciate it and I completely love all these fragrances and having the choices that I have. So, I'm back here. I have something really cool to show you. And it is this Grand Classic Makeup. I ordered this on eBay and I'm going, at first I thought, makeup from the 80s, what? And it said it was completely unused and still sealed. So I went ahead and I bought it. So let's look inside. I have no makeup on. I have my moisturizer and serums and of course the Perbel foundation just because I start every day with that whether I wear makeup or not. So let's see what is inside here. I have no idea I think 
will post it no matter what. So you can see the results of this. 1980s. I don't know exactly what year. And we're going to try and get this look. Now for me, when I used to have big hair in the 80s, I had a perm. And now, if I try to get big hair, I end up looking like the Countess. So. You can see. It's still got plastic. We've got a nice red case that reflects my lights. I've been showing you a lot of the 80s just recently with the, um, the last couple of magazine walkthroughs I did, one being Vogue and the other, um, the People magazine 80s decade. Definitely <laughs> smell the makeup. Okay, let's think about this. We're, <laughs> we're in 2023. <laughs> this is probably from 1983. <laughs> what am I doing? Anyway. <laughs> let's look inside. So, according to the box, there is, let's see, so we've got a mascara. Okay. A 40-year-old mascara. But it's never been opened. It's been opened, so I'm going to try it. You're going to be seeing this right along with me. And then there is some... Is this cover cream they call it for blemishes and camouflage blemif blemishes or dark areas so okay and then there is there are two lip glosses sorry and then some gold shimmer but it says not to be used around the eyes there are six vibrant colors. Highlighting, contouring, and accent. And then, oops, and then two blushes. One more pink and one more peach. So, and then these brushes, which will probably disintegrate. And then a an eyeliner pencil. So, the only thing that is not in here that I am adding for my current day is an eyebrow pencil. Now, I'm going to try to recreate an 80s look with what's in here. But my eyebrows are stuck in the 70s. So, anyway, I was looking through the Vogue magazine that I just did a walkthrough um, a week or so ago. And the eyebrows are definitely bigger, thicker, fuller. And so I'm going to use my eyebrow pencil. You know what? I think this is the one. No, this is good. Okay. I thought
about this was the one I bought in Geneva that was really bad. It's not. I can't even see the brand without my glasses. Okay, so we've got a little bit of the description of what this is and I'm going to try to remember how to do it. So, let's see. I'm going to first take off this plastic 40-something year old now. I feel like I'm breaking into a time capsule. And I am in a way. Like I said, this could just all disintegrate and fall apart the minute it gets air. But look at the lengths I go through for you guys. <laughs> I've had old makeup before, but never this old. Oh, here it is. Hello. Hello, time capsule makeup. Okay, so let's get started. It doesn't smell bad. If it if it was rancid or really bad, I wouldn't put it on my face, especially by my eyes. But it smells fine. Okay, now that's not a lot to go. So I'm just going to start with my eyes. What the heck? Okay. Oh, this pad. Look. Can you see this? It's still intact. It's not falling apart. So let's go ahead and Take the lightest and put that up by my eyebrow. But you know, let me do my eyebrow first. Get my mirror here. I'm going to try and um, just make it an 80s thick. If I can remember how. Oh. This is kind of not my color. I don't know. I try to talk while I do this, I'm really going to botch it up, so I'm just going to try to be quiet and get my eyebrows on, get my 80s eyebrows. And I think what I need to do is go, because over the years, you know, your, your face falls, and so my eyebrows have come down. They probably used to be more like that, but now they're down, you know, <laughs> gravity, 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 okay, I don't know.
think. I think that's as good as I can do for for my shape. Now, I don't recall this eyebrow is easier because I'm using my right hand on my right eyebrow. But I don't recall really using eyebrow pencil in the 80s. I just had thin eyebrows. No, wait a minute. I think I just outlined that thin, but kind of stuck with my 70s look, you know. I'm always a decade behind. And um, I never really did the thick, you know, the thick eyebrow look. This is really an auburn colored. Um, okay. I should put my alien hip in on, huh? Okay, so what do you think? I think it's all I have to go with. Here we go. Now, <clears throat> we're going to get started on this 80s makeup. Okay, the first thing is the highlighter. And I've got this little sponge thing applicator with four sides. So here we go. My concern is that you can't see the detail. You know, these lights kind of wash things out and and the focus thing on my camera. I have this autofocus and I have not messed with the settings on my camera. It just shoots. It to me it's a point and shoot. And if the light changes it changes. If I hold something up, the lighting and focus sometimes change and it drives me crazy because I, I, I know I could change it and adjust it if I spent time learning it, but I have chosen not to spend time learning it, so that's on me. So, okay. <laughs> All right. So, the highlighter under, on my brow bone. I don't know if you can see it. Let's see. Okay. Now the next color I'll do is um, I think I'll do my eyelid and then the contour after. So I'll purple and blue. Okay. You know, I see how they've got this. I'm a little slow to the game. So they've got these colors, this light, medium, and dark, and they seem to be kind of warmer colors. And then they've got this dark blue, light blue, and purple. So as it looks like cool colors, like a different look. So I'm going to jump over. I started with this, but I'm going to jump over and do the blue and purple. And go over the highlight with the icy blue. Oh boy. Oh boy. Oh yes. <gasps> yes, yes, yes. Oh my gosh. Are you seeing this? I hope so. Okay. I'm just going to do like a like a base all over with that color. It's that icy blue. God, I have not used one of these these little pad like applicators probably in 40 years. Okay. I think we're getting there. What do you think? And the next color will be the dark blue for the contour. Let's see. Can you hear that? Okay, here we go. Okay. Get the blue on there. This 
is actually a pretty color. I'm trying to remember how I used to do this because in the 80s when I went out, oh, wow, wow, I used to wear a lot of makeup. I mean, you just did. Oh my gosh, I kind of feel like a clown, but. as vibrant as the blue. Kind of blend it all in. Wow. Wow. Now what I would also do is I would get the end and do underneath. So I'm going to do that. Um, I'll do it with the blue. eyeliner too. You know, I'm going to do the eyeliner first and then I'll put the color on top of it. So let me find that. Get this out. <clears throat> was dressing up for the Countess. I told you I went outside to get a package off my porch and my neighbor was going by on his golf cart and I, you know, raised my hand and yelled, hi Mark. And he waved and he looked at me and waved and he did a double take because I was the Countess and I forgot. And uh, I can only imagine. He never asked me about that. They never asked me. So maybe they think I do weird dress up. I do. Okay. This is not the best eyeliner I've ever used. Oh, God. It really pulls at my eye. But for 40 years old. Now, I don't wear eyeliner under my eyes much anymore, only because it just, it settles into my wrinkles and it's, you know, I rub my eyes, it smudges. But I did back then. 
thin, so here I go. This is not a black, it's a dark brown. Okay. All right. I could actually use this on my eyebrows. Oh, okay. Huh, that's not too bad. It has an eyebrow pencil because it's kind of thick and It lends itself more for the eyebrow than the actual eyelid. <laughs> okay, now. Let's see what this mascara looks like. If there's even any in here. And if there's not, oh my gosh, I can't open it. Whoa, whoa, whoa. No, it's completely, completely disintegrated. Look at this. So, one bust, so I'm gonna use my own. I think I have some, yes I do. Now normally I curl my eyelashes, and you know what? I did, I did in the 80s, so I'm going to go with that and do that again. I still need to add the blue over the black because that's something I would do. So I take this little pad. Now I'm going to go over the black. See why varied brush sets came out. Because this is like impossible to do with, you know, just this foam pad. Wow. I'm getting there. Okay, so now let's, before I do my, no, I'll do the, I'll do the mascara. Neighbor saw me. Like I said, they've never said anything. He and his wife were driving by. She never. She didn't see me because she was next to him on the other side. He's never said anything. But as soon as I do this, after I'm done with this video, I'm going to wash this off. Because <laughs> I don't want to get caught at the door. And I also have a, a hair appointment today, so... I need to get ready for that. I'm going to be, I think I'm gonna get highlights. I've done low lights before, but this is pretty much all my natural color. And white, gray, whatever color you call this, doesn't really hold on to color well. So we're gonna see what we can do. I think I'm gonna do highlights. Maybe a few low lights underneath or something. I don't know. I 
think I'd die if anybody came to the door right now. Actually, I'd peek out my window and be like, I'm not answering. I'm not answering. This is just too... Now, I'm going to do the lower lashes and I remember doing this and coming back and doing lots of layers. You know, you let one layer dry and then you come back and you add more. underneath the surface if I go deep. Now, this stuff is thicker than clay. Oh my gosh. And it's sticky and goopy. There's no way. That's bust number two. Okay. I'll just use a Kleenex and wipe up. blush and then the lips. Let's see if this blush works. These little tubes are so cute. Look at this. Let's see if it's alive or dead. Oh, it's alive. Oh my gosh. really sticky. <laughs> oh god. Oh my goodness. It's sticky. This is like tar. Okay, I can't use the brush. remember, I'm just using my nails to dig into it. One thing I remember about doing blush is we would go all the way up here. Oh my god. This stuff is like oh. I am ready Okay, this 
makeup. <laughs> All right, let me put some of this powder on. Back with this little brush. See what happens when I don't have my glasses on. This happens in my real life, too. Okay, here we go. Oh my gosh, this is the biggest joke, I swear. Oh my god. That lipstick is in my pores. My cameras and lights, my camera and lights don't let you see my pores, but they're there. And this stuff. Is wedged into my pores and I think I'm gonna have red pores for a week. Okay. Okay, now, now let's try the lipstick on the lips. And there is no, well, there's still one spot. On this. There's one side available. with because I didn't see something read something with my glasses totally thought it was something else and I think I've shown you I have put hair creams on my face oh this is awful this is awful I've I've just totally applied things wrong eyebrow gel on my eyelashes And then what I'll do is poof my hair up and put some hairspray in it. I won't look quite like the Countess, but... Okay, so now the 80s was all about glitter and so this last one glitter to highlight the cheekbones and oh <laughs> and it has completely coagulated so I'm not gonna So, hold on. I'm going to go put my hair up. Just spray it up a little bit. I'll be right back.
to stick with my current makeup regimen and I am going to go put my makeup remover and my facial cleansers to the test and get this stuff off. My face feels my face feels like it is covered in crayon. That's how thick this stuff feels. But I have to say, this eye makeup is not too unlike something I may have worn in the 80s. So let's get my thumbnail. I'll hold this up. I am retiring this box. What do you think? Jeannie does her makeup from the 80s. There you have it. Oh, wow. So, makeup. Perfume. All things glitzy and glam. And share this with you. Thank you to Scentbird again for sponsoring this video. And I am just thankful to all of you for sponsoring videos like this. When you do them, I buy me a cup of coffee thing because I'm constantly looking for cool stuff like this. You know, so I think I scored here. But this is a one-time use, one-time score. And uh, the rest of the stuff has been is magazines, and I've got some more things to show you, catalogs. So, I hope you enjoyed that. And, yeah, wow. Did anybody out there have this? I had a perm, I could get my hair big, but right now it's all hairspray. I'm going to sign off for now, and I hope you enjoyed it. I thank you for watching. I thank you for your kind comments and supporting my channel. I appreciate you all so much and I have the most amazing community of subscribers on YouTube. Hands down, you're the best. So I will see you very soon in the next video. I bid you peace and goodbye for now. <laughs>